Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, welcome to week three of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. Today, uh, you may have guessed it from this lovely red uh, color, we are going to be crocheting a, our way across Prince Edward Island, another one of my favorite maritime provinces. And one of the unique things about Prince Edward Island is that its sand uh, is red, or some of the locals would call it mud it's um it's red so this is the only rusty red panel within this blanket and it features a shell stitch that kind of gives it this gentle texture that kind of reminds me of the sand on Prince of Rhode Island so if you haven't already please head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com it is linked there in the video notes for you and there you will find the written instructions for this tutorial today I will only be making a small portion or swatch of the pattern for you but there you can find the full instructions as well please subscribe to my youtube channel I like to update it weekly not only with this crochet along but with other great free crochet patterns. You can also connect with me across social media on uh, Facebook and Instagram and even Twitter. So thank you once again so much for joining me and let's take a look at our project this week. So for this block today I will be using this rusty red color. It's a worsted weight yarn by Mary Maxim called Maximum Value and it's acry an acrylic yarn. You are free to use any worsted weight yarn you please on this uh, crochet along blanket and uh, for the complete list of materials you'll find it there again on my blog through that link below. So along with your worsted weight yarn you are also going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written instructions found on my blog. Now today I will be working a small sample of the block. So I will only be chaining 14 today. To complete the block to the measurements that I have it there on the blog, you will be chaining a total of 146 chains. Now if you would like to change the size of your blanket, the multiple of chain stitches that you are going to need is a multiple of four plus two. So today I will be chaining 14 just so you can get an, an idea of how the panel is worked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so fourteen. Once you have your chain, and again, if you're working the pattern, you will chain 146. You are going to begin row one by completing a shell stitch in the second chain from your hook. So that's one, that's this chain right here. Now a shell stitch is made as follows. You are going to single crochet in the designated stitch, chain two, and then work four double crochet in that same stitch. One, two, three, four. And that is how your shell stitch is made. Single crochet, chain two, and work four double crochet all in the same stitch. So you will shell in the second chain from your hook. You will then skip the next three chains, one, two, three, and shell in the next stitch. So again, to work your shell, you're going to single crochet, chain two, and work four double crochet all in the same stitch, one, two, three, and four. For the rest of this row, you are going to repeat that. Skip three, the next three chains, and then in the next chain, work one shell stitch. 
single crochet, chain two, and four double crochet. Repeat that all the way across to the last four stitches, which I have here. Then you will skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and simply work one single crochet in the final stitch. And that is the end of your row one. You will then turn your work and start by chaining three. Your chain three will count as a double crochet here. You will then work two double crochet in the first stitch, one and two. And then you will shell in the next chain two space. So you remember of your previous, your shell in the row below, you had this single crochet and then you had this chain two on the other side of these four double crochet. That is where you are going to work your next shell stitch. So reaching across those four double crochet into the chain two space, you will work one single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets all into that chain two space. You will then continue making shells in the chain two spaces all the way across. So once you've worked or completed that shell, reach across to the next chain two space and work your next shell. Single crochet, chain two, and four double crochet. You're going to do that all the way across your work. When you come to your final chain two space, you will simply work one single crochet. And that is the end of your second row. Next, turn and work one chain three. You will work two double crochet in that first stitch And then reach across to that chain two space again and you will work a shell stitch. After you've completed the first shell stitch, move across the next chain two space and work another shell stitch. So from this point on in the pattern, you are simply working shell stitches in each of those chain two spaces all the way across. And that's all you're going to do until your work measures about nine inches. You will see that this, uh, this panel this week will go fairly quickly. When you come to your final chain two, uh, chain two space, or that, um, sorry, when you come to that beginning uh, chain three space that you had at the very beginning of that last row, you're going to work your one single crochet in it. Just like that. So for the rest of the pattern, you're going to repeat row three, turn your work, chain three stitches, two double crochet in that first stitch, reach across to that chain two space, and work a shell. Single crochet, chain two, four double crochets. Four. Reach across to the next chain two space. Single crochet, chain two, and four double crochet. 
Continue that all the way across your panel. And when you come to that final chain three, turning chain three, work one final single crochet. And that's all there is to the panel this week. So thank you so much for joining me on this crochet along across Canada. I hope that you are enjoying it as much as I am. And once again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss a stitch. And I'll see you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye.